This is brilliant. A married couple have been banned for life from the whole industry of computer repairs. That includes anything like selling software, services, anything to do with computers because they were idiots and decided to run tech support scams. So if we take a look at this news story, a husband and wife team accused of scamming people with dodgy tech support calls about bogus malware infections have been barred for life from offering IT support and repairs. And obviously the bogus malware infections include things like the classic event viewer and the tree command scan. Tree command scan. The FTC said that its settlement deal with Madhu and Illa Sethi would comprise both a $2 million fine and an order that neither can operate any business that provides any plan program software marketed to repair, maintain or improve a computer's performance or security. So you can see here a $2 million fine. I mean, for two people. So they've got, they've got to split it half ways have they and pay a million dollars worth of the fine each. Brilliant. This is what these scammers deserve, I think. A million dollars each straight out of their pockets, which they probably don't have, so I don't know how they're going to pay this fine. They probably haven't made a million dollars each by scamming loads of people with a tech support scam. But uh, if they by chance have, then that's all their money gone to this. Uh, that's all their money straight down the drain from deciding to scam people. Oh, actually here it says much of the $2 million fine will be suspended provided the pair agree to stick to the settlement. So they won't have to pay all the fine, but hopefully they have to pay a damn large amount of that fine to get what they deserve for trying to rip people off out of their money. So apparently these, they were basically the heads of the company really, and they had offices in both Florida and Alabama, and they were doing both the Microsoft tech support scams, so that was obviously the stuff like the event view, the tree command, netstat, etc., and the Apple scam, which is, is a weird one, they just get you to force quit Safari, and then they start going into uh, sort of the equivalent of the stuff on Windows, like, I don't know what it is but they show you certain things, like the equivalent to MS Config and Services, they go into that and say, oh, these should all be working, but you can see they're stopped. You know, things that they do on the Windows one, it's very similar on the Mac one. And apparently these two individuals have done both those scams and have been caught out for it. And also, apparently they were using cold calls and pop-ups. So both scummy tactics, the pop-ups being the ones where they appear on your browser, and then they probably don't let you close the browser. That's what some of them do. And some of them have got memory leaks, so it just eats up your RAM usage, so it crashes your computer. So you've basically got no choice if you don't know much about computers but to call them. And obviously a cold call it comes from an unknown number. You answer it and they go, oh, you've got problems with your computer. They use both those tactics. Scummy. Scummy as hell using both those tactics, which are really genuinely targeted to people that don't know much about computers. Old people primarily, which... A lot, of pe a lot of older people don't know much about computers because they didn't grow up with them, obviously. So they're targeted at old people, the, the cold calls and the, and the pop-ups. The cold calls, really, they can be avoided. Modern phone software, like updates on phones, tend to say, like, scam or spam or something like that uh, under the number, if, if it's suspected like that. But a lot of these scammers use spoof caller IDs, and I assume this couple did that. Here we go, look, the defendants manufactured false catastrophes and used panic-inducing tactics to defraud consumers out of outrageous sums of money. I don't know what that outrageous sum of money is, but it's probably the, what, like, the lifetime plan of like $800 or something stupid like that per customer. If these two idiots are scamming a lot of people per day, think about the amount of money that they could be making if they're selling these lifetime plans of nothing. Here we go as well. Essentially, the Sethi's business model, according to the FTC, was to call people and trick them into believing that their computers had viruses. We've all seen this before in plenty of my videos. Uh, I did a cold call one as well where he called me and started saying I've got problems with my computer. And that's exactly what these idiots have been doing. And they've got what they deserved. They've been caught and they've been fined and they've been banned from doing any sort of tech support, even legitimate tech support. They couldn't legally do that. Who knows if they'll actually continue to scam people. My guess is they probably will. Unless they've actually learnt from it, which I doubt they have, because a lot of these scammers genuinely don't care. Until they get caught, but then some of them probably still don't even care and just continue doing it. Considering they're getting quite lenient here with um, them not having to pay the full fine. It is kind of lenient, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of money. Two million dollars, and they should have to pay as much of it as possible which I assume that'll happen. The duo didn't even deny anything, so they just admitted, yeah, I'm a scammer, yeah, I've been ripping these people off, yeah, this is how much money we've been making from calling these scammers, calling these people making up nonsense. And yeah, that's pretty much what's uh, what's happened with these two idiots. So there isn't a picture of them, unfortunately. Uh, no, it's just the article, no picture of them. But yeah, that's about it for this little update video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.